How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have from the Star Wars Vintage Collection, The Lost Line, which was an SDCC, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I think it was back in 2017. Maybe older, maybe newer, I don't remember. But, of course, I have the Jar Jar Binks here. This is not the rare Jar Jar Binks, obviously, because that one is a Carbonite Jar Jar Binks. But this is still the Vintage Collection style Jar Jar. Uh, on the back of the box, it has a brief little explanation about the, the Lost Line. Lost Packaging, I guess is what they're calling it. And then a picture of the Jar Jar, and then several of the other figures that came out in that line. I like how it says, each sold separately. I don't think that was the case. I think you could only get this guy on or in the san diego comic-con set i believe it or not got this guy for stupid cheap from ebay because of how damaged the card is um i think i paid like 18 dollars plus shipping for this one i am going to go ahead and cut it still uh just out of force of habit but also so i can preserve what little bit of the card i still have there for my believe it or not i actually like store the cards a lot of it for just memory on Hopefully one day I'll be able to archive them and know what figures I have and keep some names from a little bit more of the obscure characters. So he does come with one of their the, the Gungan staffs. I don't remember what that called. And were they Boombas or something like that? But anyways, the Gungan the young, uh, little club that they use to take on the battle droids. And let's go ahead and get Jar Jar out of there. And there we have it. There is the Vintage Collection Jar Jar. He does have some pleather soft goods right there. His ears are malleable plastic. He has a ball joint neck uh, right there. Then he also has like a swivel neck at the base of the shoulders. So he has a, a technically a double jointed neck on that. He has really good shoulder articulation. I did have a guy point out to me online, though, the, the two-tone joints right there where they didn't paint the actual joint of the Jar Jar. So now that I see that, I, I see that, and I thank the person for that point out. Same with the knees. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and point that out for everybody else, too. So he does have the the discoloration in the, the knee joints. Uh, elbow articulation, not great, but it's it's Jar Jar, so what do you expect? Then he does just have some standard wrist swivels along with waist, waist swivel and then just a, a standard T crotch, no ball joints or anything like that there. Uh, knee articulation is a little lacking, especially for how flexible he, he showed himself to be in like the movies and the cartoons. And then he does have jointed, not rockers, but does have just jointed uh, ankles. Overall, I'm super happy to have this Jar Jar. Uh, the paint on him is phenomenal. On You know, you see the, the pattern on the back of his arm and everything. Maybe if my camera will focus. There we go. So yeah, the paint on this Jar Jar is phenomenal. I think he looks really good. And he'll look really good up with my Anakin... Uh, let's, let's go Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan from Star Wars Episode One. Go ahead and get his weapons in his hands real quick. Ooh, even with that, that really kind of enlarged hand, he does hold the weapon rather well. See? I think it's like that. I think that's the front. So we'll go ahead and have him hold it. Like so. And there you go. There is, like I said, Jar Jar Binks from the Star Wars Vintage Collection Lost Packaging Line, or Lost Line, from San Diego Comic-Con. Right there, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it with. Hit that like, smash that follow if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.